Hello luxury watch lovers! In this channel, I cover the background, fundamental design features, and things to consider before buying your watch. If you have a luxury watch that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, I will cover the 17 most significant brands in Swiss watch brands to give you a basic knowledge of what makes each one unique. There are dozens of brands worthy of inclusion. If you ask the ordinary person on the street in any region of the world, which country comes to mind when they think of luxury timepieces, they'd probably say Switzerland. Several other countries, such as Japan and Germany, produce outstanding luxury timepieces. Switzerland will always top the list as the world capital of fine watchmaking, and rightly so. The country's long history of watchmaking excellence stems not only from the sheer number of industry giants that call it home, such as Rolex, Omega, Patek Philippe, and Audemars Piguet, but also from its world-renowned reputation for expertise in all the various crafts that go into fine watchmaking. The Swiss watch industry is broad and complex, with numerous brands offering different specializations in a wide variety of price points for export across the globe. I will give a brief history of each brand, highlight its main milestones and most noteworthy watches, and provide some insight into what it's been up to recently that's worth noting. Starting with number 17, Maurice Lacroix. Desco, a luxury watch agent and distributor that once handled brands like Gégé Lacoutre, Eterna, Hure, and Audemars Piguet is where Maurice Lacroix got its start. Desco purchased a company that manufactured timepieces for other brands in 1961 and 1975. They began producing watches under the Maurice Lacroix trademark. The brand grew in popularity, and models like the Masterpiece Collection are superb representations of Maurice Lacroix's early years. The business has dived headfirst into the field of movement manufacture, culminating in modern models like the Pontos Chronograph Monopusher, a watch commemorating the brand's popular Ponto Sports Watch's 20th anniversary. Maurice Lacroix offers exceptional value in most of its extensive selections for watches manufactured to a surprisingly high standard. Moving on to number 16. Frédéric Constant Frédéric Constant is another relatively new brand, at least when compared to the others on this list, which have been around for centuries. Since its inception in 1988, the company has gone through a succession of interesting acquisitions and mergers, the most recent of which saw it become a part of Citizen Holdings, which also owns Belova. Frédéric Constant is one of the largest Swiss watch brands in terms of production, with a focus on the so-called affordable luxury segment of the industry. Frédéric Constant has stepped up in the field of in-house integration in recent years, particularly following the citizen acquisition, and produced numerous fascinating models, including the superb Slimline Moon Phase, which houses an in-house made caliber. These are some of the best equipped watches coming out of Switzerland right now for the money. And on to number 15, Auris. In a sea of brands sponsored by huge conglomerates like the Richmond, Swatch, and LVMH groups, Aurus SA, founded in 1904 in Holstein, Switzerland, by Paul Cattin and Georges Christian, is a rare watchmaker in the present environment in that it is still independent. For the most part, Aurus's status as an independent is endearing, providing a sense of David versus Goliath pride among the brand's devotees. Aurus has become a standard for value-conscious collectors and especially sports watch aficionados, thanks to its distinct look and desire to innovate outside of the box. 
The Aquas Divers watch and the Big Crown Pointer date, which has been a standard watch for Aurus since 1938, are two of its most popular models. Aurus's most significant achievement in recent years, in response to critics, is the creation of its first in-house movement, Calibre 400, which has an incredible 120 hours of power reserve, and is placed in the appropriately called Aquas Calibre 400. Hopping across to number 14, Baum and Mercier. Founded by brothers Louis Victor and Celeste Baum in Geneva in 1830 as Frere Baum, the company later joined with Paul Mercier in 1918 to become the Baum and Mercier we know today. Baum and Mercier joined the Richmond Group in 1988 during a particularly difficult era for the brand. The Baum and Mercier brand offers solid value in its tastefully designed collection and has recently forayed into making some in-house calibers, including the BM131975A, which is featured in one of the brand's most popular collections, the Clifton Baumatic. Baum and Mercier has gone the environmentally friendly way by producing the 10587, which is cased in recycled ocean plastic in 2020, capitalizing on an industry trend that is gaining traction. Next up is number 13, Ulysse Nadar. Ulysse Nadar, a watch maison whose name conjures up romantic visions of sea-going adventure and oceanic discovery, carved out a position in Swiss watch history as a revered builder of marine chronometers of the world's fleets in the 19th and 20th centuries. Founded in 1846 by its eponym, the standard bearer of nautical timekeeping for many years. Ulysse Nadar entered the 21st century as one of the industry's most technically advanced and aggressively experimental watchmakers. The Freak is a wildly unconventional timepiece with a flying carousel system in which there are no hands and only a baguette-shaped movement rotating on its axis with a bridge to indicate the minutes and a rotating disc mounted on the main plate to showcase the hours, they shook up the watch world in 2001. The Freak was also one of the first watches to use silicon for several key movement components, which is now extensively used in the industry. The Diver Collection, which includes special editions dedicated to preserving endangered marine wildlife, and the recently launched Marine Topileur family, which is named after a type of historical torpedo boat and designed to echo the look of classical marine chronometers. The watch has Roman numerals, cathedral hands, and a stacked arrangement of subdials paying homage to the brand's maritime history. More intricate versions like the Blast Hour Striker and Blast Moonstruck are at the peak of haute horlogerie and trumpet the company's most avant-garde design. Adding the American touch at number 12, Hamilton. Hamilton Watch Company was founded in 1892 in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, in the United States, and has a long history of producing military timepieces for the United States Army throughout World War I and World War II. The brand's now Swiss-made khaki field watch range will forever be associated with the famous image of the American GI. It's assaulting a beach or charging across a battlefield, even though the business halted U.S. manufacturing in 1969. With over 500 notable movie appearances for its watches and spectacular history of milestone moments on the silver screen, including Elvis Presley's immortal sporting of a Hamilton Ventura in Blue Hawaii, Hamilton is also famed for its roles in the film. With legendary collections like the aforementioned khaki, the intramatic, 
and the Jazz Master earned a reputation for excellence at an entry-level price point for a Swiss watch. Hamilton, currently owned by the Swatch Group, is a prominent participant in the international watch market. Keeping up with the Swiss beloveds is number 11, Longines. Augusta Agassiz founded Longines in 1832 in saint Emir, Switzerland. Longines, which has been a subsidiary of the watch group since 1983, is one of the parent company's entry-level luxury brands. Alongside Tissot, Longines has become notably well-known among non-watch aficionados, serving as a gateway brand into Swiss watch collecting for many consumers. Longines is the official timekeeper of the Commonwealth Games, the Kentucky Derby, and the French Open, among many other major events. Longines has created an excellent range of heritage reissue models in recent years, which has attracted a growing fan following among antique watch aficionados. The Legend Diver, the Spirit, and the Avigation Big Eye are three of Longines' most popular contemporary models. The Longines watches are powered by off-the-shelf Swiss movements. What makes Longines stand out from the rest is its value promise, which has made them a popular industry mainstay. Striking a pose at number 10, Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe was founded in 1839 by Antoine Nobert de Patek and François Chapek as a leader in fine watchmaking. Patek Philippe pioneered many complications and design aspects that are now extensively used in the watch industry. Patek Philippe is now managed by CEO Thierry Stern. They are best known and most generally adored of the holy trinity of watchmaking, which also includes Audemars Piguet and Vacheron Constantin. Patek Philippe is most known for its pricey, stunning timepieces, like the $31.19 million Philippe Grandmaster Chime, reference 6300A010, the first split seconds chronograph and the first perpetual calendar wristwatch are both in Patek Philippe's collection. The Calatrava reference 96, one of Patek Philippe's most famous watches, was introduced in 1932. The Nautilus, introduced in 1976, is a favorite among watch collectors today, combining Patek's watchmaking expertise with a cutting-edge sports looks design. Patek has recently enlarged its portfolio with enormous complexity such as the Calatrava Pilot Travel Time and the Grand Sonnery. They most certainly are sticking to their guns of manufacturing beautiful complicated wristwatches for a very elite clientele. Out of reach at number 9, Richard Mill. Richard Mill, founded in 2001, is an innovative watchmaking firm with outstanding technical prowess and a design idea centered on developing lightweight watches with high-end automotive DNA. And they are setting it differently from many typical luxury watch companies. Richard Mill's collection, which features a trademark tonneau case form throughout, is popular among celebrities, athletes, and the world's wealthiest watch buyers. The RM001, which is the brand's stunning first model, was produced in collaboration with Audemars Piguet, demonstrating a collaborative mentality. The RM56 Sapphire was created in collaboration with Boucheron and the RM2704, a watch built for tennis star Rafael Nadal that can withstand extreme accelerations as that Nadal produces on the court, are just a few of the company's most well-known models. A brand like Richard Mill is out of reach for most collectors. Completing the triangle at number 8, Audemars Piguet. 
Odemar Piquet, the third member of the Holy Trinity of watchmaking, dates back to 1875 when founders Jules Louis Odemar and Edouard Auguste Piguet first registered the trademark. The company was renamed Odemar Piquet and C in 1881. They began by producing movements for other companies, such as Tiffany and Co. In 1892, Odemar Piguet created the world's first minute repeater mechanism for Omega's illustrious creator, Louis Brandt. Odemar Piguet is, without a doubt, best known for one timepiece, the Royal Oak, developed by Gerald Genta in 1972. Since its debut, the Royal Oak design has been altered and redesigned numerous times, with modern offspring such as the numerous offshore variants and the complex concept pieces. Audemars Piguet debuted a new code 1159 range of modern dress watches with remarkable calibers, as well as the Master 01 collection of heritage reissues in early 2019. Another member of the Holy Trinity, number 7, Vacheron Constantin. Vacheron Constantin, founded in 1755, by Jacques-Marc Vacheron and François Constantin is another member of the Holy Trinity of watchmaking, alongside Patek Philippe and Audemars Piguet, and is sometimes overlooked by fans. Vacheron Constantin has quietly developed quite an enormous fan base because of its watchmaking prowess and gorgeous designs, with a brand motto that declares, do better if feasible, and that is always possible. Vacheron Constantin now has one of the most comprehensive lineups among high watchmaking brands, especially when compared to the other brands. The Overseas Perpetual Calendar Ultra Thin Skeleton, the Traditionnel Tourbillon, and the Patrimony Minute Repeater are all recent Vacheron Constantin pieces that are great representations of Vacheron's famed savoir-faire. A watch that needs no introduction at number 6, Rolex. Rolex is without a doubt one of the most prestigious watch brands in the world. Rolex has cemented a place in watch history by producing many legitimate icons of watch design. The Submariner, Daytona, Milgauss, Yachtmaster, and Datejust are watches that all but define the categories they inhabit. This brand was founded in London in 1905, but based in Switzerland since 1919. For many people, the Rolex Submariner is the epitome of a diver's watch, just as the Rolex Daytona is the epitome of a sports chronograph. Rolex, on the other hand, is a divisive brand among collectors and aficionados, with long wait lists and a usually clandestine approach to business contributing to the vitriol. Rolex continues to tug at the heartstrings of a big following, as proven by the seismic reaction to something as simple as a 1mm increase in the case size of the current Submariner version when it debuted. Taking off with number 5, IWC. In 1868, an American, Florentine Ariosto Jones, founded IWC Schaffhausen, formerly the International Watch Company, in Switzerland's northeastern Germany-speaking territory, as opposed to the remainder of the Swiss watch industry's home in western French-speaking Switzerland. This significant variance resulted in cultural distinctions that continue to impact IWC today. The company is most well known for its several pilots' timepieces, including the first Behur produced for the Luftwaffe, the Mark 11, the first ceramic pilot's watch, reference 3705, and the present Top Gun series. IWC is also noted for the Portuguesa series, the Aquatimer dive watch line, 
earned for being one of the first companies to use titanium as a case material, as seen in the iconic IWC Porsche design Ocean 2000. Due to its origins in the German-speaking area of Switzerland, the IWC has been a popular choice among German military personnel since World War II. IWC is still regarded as one of the leading manufacturers of aviation-style timepieces, notably the well-known Big Pilot's Watch series. Moving swiftly along to number 4, Tudor. Hans Wilsdorf, the founder of Rolex, was the one who registered Tudor in 1926 before officially starting the firm in 1946. Tudor's main goal was to bring buyers into the Rolex brand family at a cheaper price range by combining off-the-shelf Swiss movements with Rolex-made cases and bands. Tudor has been associated with tool watches for much of its existence, which makes sense given the company's purposely lower price points compared to its more opulent older sibling Rolex. One of Tudor's most popular early models, the Oyster Prince, was carried on a Royal Navy scientific mission to Greenland in 1952, demonstrating its effectiveness as a tool watch. Another example is the Tudor Submariner, which was used by numerous military organizations around the world until the 1990s, when watches such as the G-Shock generally replaced military duty. Tudor's present popularity originates from its 2013 relaunch in North America and the hot models that arrived at the time, the Black Bay and Pelagos. Two intriguing divers that have both become Tudor icons. Tudor has added the Black Bay 58 to its iconic Black Bay line, which has been more popular. Slotting in at number 3, Tissot. Tissot dates back to 1853, when the father-son combination of Charles Felicier Tissot and Charles Emile Tissot founded the company in Le Loc, Switzerland's Jura Mountains. Tissot, which is part of the Swatch Group, can boast of several watchmaking firsts, including the first pocket watch to display two time zones in 1853. The first watch, purpose-built to resist magnetism, the Anti-Magnetique, in 1930, and the first tactile screen multifunction digital watch, the T-Touch, in 1999, years before the smartwatch. Today, the brand sells over 4 million watches each year in more than 160 countries, and it is known for creating mid-range market timepieces that are regarded for their price-to-value ratio. The Seastar 2000 is a beautifully designed and robustly built professional-grade diver's watch. Inspired by the Heritage Collection is the Heritage 1973 Chronograph, a modern revamp of the Navigator model built for auto racing drivers in 1973. Tissot is also known for its role as official timekeeper of the Tour de France and for its recent timekeeping agreement with the National Basketball Association. They ensure that the Tissot logo appears in NBA arenas and on TV screens across the United States and around the globe. Lighting the torch at number 2, Omega. Omega, one of the most renowned and venerated Swiss watchmakers, was founded in 1848 by Louis Brandt as La Générale Watch Co. before adopting the Omega brand in 1903. Omega, now controlled by the giant Swatch Group, is without a doubt one of the industry's leaders, having invented the minute repeater, tourbillon, and coaxial escapement. Omega has also built a dedicated fan base by providing watches worn by persons who have played pivotal roles in history. Since World War I, Omega watches have been worn by the Royal Flying Corps, the United States Army, 
earned a variety of other military organizations. Omega has also partnered with the Olympic Games since 1932, became James Bond's watch in 1995, and has the distinction of being the first watch worn on the moon. As chosen by NASA, Omega still produces fascinating versions of its main models, almost entirely using in-house calibers, such as the recently released Silver Snoopy Award Speedmaster. Finally, reaching the top at number one, Jeuge la Coutre. Jeuge la Coutre was founded in 1833 in the heart of the Valle de Joux in the Swiss Jura Mountains and is known as the watchmaker of watchmakers. The luxury timepieces for men from Jeuge la Coutre all have a traditional aesthetic with clean lines that flow into symmetry on the dial. Since its inception, the Grand Maison has adorned the wrists of men with models that combine haute horlogerie with a refined style. The partnership between Jeuge and Le Coutre in 1903 resulted in a vast assortment of ultra-thin timepieces. The Reverso, Master, Jeuge Le Coutre Polaris, and Duometre lines offer high-end men's watches that will never go out of style. The Reverso is without a doubt the most recognizable watch from the house, having been designed as a sports watch for polo players to wear during tournaments. The Polaris Memo Vox, a diver's watch with a mechanical alarm that has an interesting history and has inspired a succession of modern reissues, is another hallmark Jeuge Le Coutre innovation. We have come to the end of what I think are the top 17 best Swiss watch brands. Let me know which brands are your favorite. Thank you for watching this video. Nothing helps my channel more than you watching until the very end. If you enjoy this type of content, let me know in the comments below. And remember, time is your greatest asset.